Okay, this video is about Pack and Go. Why do we need Pack and Go? You're probably saying, what is Pack and Go? Well, this is Pack and Go, and I'll do this uh, through a short demonstration. I have uh, an assembly file over here. Let's see, uh, somebody just sent this to me by email. Just sent me the assembly file, nothing else with it. And if I drop that into SolidWorks, oh, let's go all the way over here, drop it into SolidWorks and take that folder and move it aside, it gives me this dialog box, like you can't find stuff. Let's so know if I want to browse it uh, for it or suppress that component or suppress all missing components. But you know, if I wait too long, it's impatient. It's just going to suppress everything. The only thing you can really find are the toolbox fasteners, which I, you know, got out of the design library over here. So the report over here says that uh, there are seven files that were suppressed or essentially missing. So if I go to close over here and take a look at my feature manager, I can see every file that I have in, I have in here, including all the duplicates like the hinge plate, uh, they're all suppressed or missing. If I wanted to find them, I can right click on it until it uh, resolve and you know unsuppress and probably try to find them. But it's always better, you know, if you don't send me everything that goes with the assembly. If you send me nothing with the assembly file, then I get nothing. The assembly file and the drawing file are nothing but open templates. Uh, it's kind of like an architectural plan without uh, the actual substance there. So, you know, it's got uh, the layout, but if you don't send me the parts that go into the layout, I don't see anything. So this is how we resolve that. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this and certainly don't want to save that. So let's go ahead and go back to our folder over here and actually open up uh, really where that file is. So we're going to open up the same file, but we're going to go ahead and open it up within the window or within the file that has all the parts in it. So if we double click on it, and there we have it. There we have this RS mechanism. Now if we want to go ahead and save this with everything included in here, this is what we do. We go to File. Instead of Save As, we're going to go down a little bit further and go to this uh, option over here called Pack and Go. And Pack and Go is going to give us a dialog box. We're going to start from the top and work our way down. Gives us an option to save in all sorts of stuff. We can include, uh, if we have drawings included, we can do that too. Uh, we don't really have it, but it doesn't hurt to check that. Include simulation results. Uh, we don't have uh, anything uh, that's been simulated. It's a finite element analysis program. Uh, if we wanted to, it would import that database too. Include toolbox components. Yeah, that's a good idea. Include uh, custom decals, appearances, and scenes, and default decals, appearances, and scenes. That's okay, too. If somebody were running uh, SolidWorks in uh, light version, or uh, maybe not the professional or the, the premium edition, they may, may not have these options, so it's always good to go ahead and include those. Nest of View just kind of gives you an option of how you're looking at these, and uh, this is uh, what your file structure format looks like. You have your assembly up here. You have all the parts associated with the assembly. And then uh, you actually have over here database items in regard to some of the some of the material qualities we've assigned to this, including copper and plastic and other things. It's going to import that stuff too, including appearances. And if you go up here and actually click on the toolbox components or unclick on that, if you click on that, you can see that we get our flathead screw and our uh, flathead or machine screw nut. Those get included too. So if somebody doesn't have uh, the toolbox open, it automatically opens that and includes that into our assembly too. So the person who's receiving this doesn't have to try to hunt and peck for it. So down here it says we have one assembly, we have 13 parts, we have zero drawings, we have 17 other files or database items for a total of 31 elements in here that I'm going to receive, whereas before I would have only received one and it would have seen nothing. So this is the reason why I want to do this. So we have a couple of different options. We can save that to a different folder if you want to do that. Maybe in a different drive. That's a, kind of an easy way to do it. If you want to send it, what you want to do is save it as a zip file. And if you want to go ahead and browse, you can put that in a location if you choose, and perhaps a desktop. And then you, you can call that, uh, you have to give it a name down here, sorrows.mechanism. Uh, and if you do that, it's going to go ahead and save that. And then we're not going to click Save button yet, but now we can add a prefix to it. If you want to add something to the front of that, maybe a date. Uh, we can do that. If you want to add a suffix to it, uh, we can do that too. Maybe the same thing. We can call that October or something. But what it does is it just adds those elements uh, to the file name. Boy, having trouble spelling today. And we can email it after packaging. I don't have my email program on my design computer. And uh, but you could do that and open up your email package uh, program and it just plop it in there as a, an attachment. It'll be ready to go. And then when you go to save, it's going to go ahead and do its stuff and save it. And there you have it. So now, well, here it is. 
let me go ahead and uh, open up something over here so we can put that in front of it so there's a zip folder I just pulled it off the desktop and I can drop that into the folder over here that I have and that would be ready to go so here's my Soros mechanism and uh, if we open that up and take a look at what's inside of that you can see all the elements in there including my prefixes and suffixes so it's got my prefix in front of uh, my existing prefix so you have to consider what you're going to be doing uh, when you do that and it's got my suffix in there of October so those are just silly little options just to demonstrate what this does but that's pack and go and use pack and go when you send me your assembly files and your drawing files